got the traditional spicy Vietnamese beef, the pork, the coconut, and a tofu one. There's a Riesling, a green tea, a pale ale it looks like at the bottom. This is a new booth for 2021. Well, welcome back. We uh, went to the noodle exchange, and what did you exchange for some noodles? All of cash. <laughs> um, and how many noodles did you get? A lot of noodles. What have you done? It, I may have gotten too much. This is this is the booth where the portions and the price are reasonable. Reasonable, yeah. The You're... portions are huge. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see how this goes. So what do you got here? Well, this is the traditional Vietnamese beef pho. I think I'm saying that right. Okay. I think um, so too. It's got the rice noodles. It's got some mushrooms. It's got some peppers. And it's got the shredded beef along with the beef broth that is the thing. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get a little bit of beef here. You're not going to introduce everything else? Oh. Everybody well, else is not coming to the party? Well, everybody else can come to the party. All right. This is the shrimp and coconut curry mm -hmm. that's gonna be a mistake <laughs> also has noodles mushrooms all right and then finally this is the pork udon with some bok choy and mushrooms and a soy pickled egg and it looks like it so we... i'm very soy for this you're very sorry for all this soy, soy. all right trying some beef broth um, these little peppers give that some heat, so it does have a little bit of a spice to it. Let's get some beef and see if I can get some noodles here. But you do have a fork or a chopstick option. Well, you know. These peppers give it some heat. You said that. That has... You didn't use the lime either. I didn't use the lime. It tastes delicious. Um, I like it a lot, but it definitely has some kick to it. And there's a lot of noodles. I, the only thing that I'm gonna wish, eh, there's a decent amount of beef here. Yeah, it's in there. It's in there, so yeah. You just gotta work for it. I, it's, it's all here. I like this a lot. I don't normally, like we don't go and eat at- We don't have a lot of- Fall places, yeah. So we're not really used to like what this would normally taste like, but this is a good introduction to pho for me because I like it a lot. You're liking the flavors. All right. Where are you going next? You going pork? No, you going shrimp? I'm going shrimp. There are at least, I think there's only three shrimp here. Once again, they're big shrimp. They are big shrimp. I'm so gonna, do we a, have a knife? I think I did get a knife, uh, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna cut a piece of the shrimp in half just to like not have a whole bite. Okay. More shrimp to go around. We got our shrimpy cup. We do, I got shrimp and a little bit of broth. It's a curry broth. That has a little bit of heat too, but the coconut tones it down some. The shrimp are well cooked. They're good size. Right. Um, I like the mushrooms in there. Oh, it has some heat at the end too. Both of these have some, they're pretty hot on the end. I like the beef a little bit better. All right. Well, you got one more because you ordered the whole booth. I didn't order the tofu. You told them nothing for anybody else tonight, please. All right, this is, there's a little bit of pork here. There's a soy pickled egg. I'm gonna use the fork this time. Okay. After these two dishes. That one has the least spice to the it? The pork has the least spice. Hmm. So therefore the least flavor. It tastes a little bland. Um, it's just more of like a meaty broth and I don't know. The, there's not a whole lot of pork in here that I can find. It's like a shaved pork. Yeah. Um, I think the, the value is probably better with the shrimp and the beef. All right. A little more flavorful. We'll see what Doug thinks. My turn to try? I'm starting off with the beef one here. 
We got a little shredded beef in here. It looks, once again, it honestly, it looks like the beef from the hot beef sandwich. Kind of, it's like that shredded beef. Yeah. It does add a little heat. It just sort of comes in at the end. I think so. I'm trying not to make the same mistake that I've made with countless other dishes. What was the one I called the other day? The hot beef sandwich? No, it was one the other day where I had a, a spicy dish somewhere. Oh, I and know. I said, ah, oh, this isn't hot. And then I changed my mind. Oh. Wait a um, what do you think? I could have got any it's not bad. It's not like filling. It's got... I'm going to try a little bit of the raw. Okay. That's going to fill you up. I think they're all going to fill you up. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Alright, got a shrimpy. And got, got some noodles. Got some noodles. <laughs> all over the place. We are not graceful in this endeavor whatsoever. Okay. What did you think about the shrimp? I thought it was good. I, I liked it a lot. I think the shrimp is a little better than the beef. Yeah. I think that's my top one. It's got a, got some heat. I'm glad we, we at first we weren't going to go with all three and we weren't going to go with the shrimp. And these look like different noodles. Um, some are rice noodles and then I think some are udon noodles, which are different. This is udon right here. Yeah, this is the pork udon. We're going to try and get a little bit of pork here. A little bit of noodle. I'm not sure if I'm still in the frame or not. You are. It's a heavier, thicker noodle. And I think it takes away from the flavor of the pork. And the pork is thinly sliced. I don't, maybe it's buried underneath, but I don't think there's maybe as much in there. As to say the beef or the shrimp? Right. I think while the shrimp is only three, um, they're, they're pretty big shrimp. Yeah. And they definitely add to the flavor of the curry. The curry helps out. Everything works well together. I think you're right. I think I would go shrimp than beef than pork. Yeah, yeah. I, that's my ranking. Yeah, I agree. All and, right. uh, oh, hey, we tried oh, out the noodle exchange. Overall? B. This is a new booth this year, so yeah. I think that this is a strong, like, new booth. Yeah. For I sure. I so too. I like I might even give it, like, a B plus. For something that's kind of out of our zone. Yeah. Like, even when we say Germany and Italy and all these other... You know, this is uh, this is definitely out of our zone, and yeah, we don't eat this very you, often. You definitely want to give this a try. It's got good flavor, and the the value is okay. Yeah, I think most of the dishes were in the five to six dollar range. The value's okay, which is kind of what you can expect from five to six dollars is cheaper than Italy. <laughs> That's what we're gonna come back to. <laughs> All right, back to back new booths here. This is the swanky, saucy swine. I have to say it's slow or else I screw it up. And this year we've got the, we're going all of these. This is the crispy barbecue pork rinds, roasted porchetta, soy glazed sticky ribs, and the crispy pig ear salad. What do you say, Brittany? Oh, she says move my camera. There's also a few drinks down here. And here is a look at the swanky, saucy swine. Oh, Brittany, what have you done? Booth 25 and 26 here, this is the? This is the Swanky Saucy Swine. I said I had to say it slow or else I, I'd screw it up, and you I, said it slow too. I had to say it slow or I will screw it up. It say it fast. Swanky Saucy Swine. See, no problem. Yeah, great. All right, so we've got a little bit of everything. We call it the Danny Tanner. What's that? The Full House. Yeah, The Full House. No, it's not. It's, that's your show. It is my show. You're right. All right. We got pork rinds. This is the appetizer right here. This with is on the fromage montage. With pimento cheese dip, which is why it's on the fromage montage. We've got the sticky soy glazed ribs. Okay. Do we, you? How do you feel about those? They look pretty decent. Yeah, I think they're a decent size. We'll see how much. This the looks good. The porchetta with yeah. roasted potatoes. What is a porchetta? I think it's a pork like roulade kind of. It looks like it's rolled. It does. And finally. And finally, the interesting dish of the um, festival is the crispy pig ear salad. Would you consider this the most interesting? Probably, because I've never had pig ear before. So there are these thin little strips. This is the pig ear here. Pull one out. There you go. Take, that, take it in. That's a pig ear. Go ahead. Right now? Yes. Just eat it? 
Alright. Here's crunchy little bacon strips. It's not bad. It's really just crispy. It has a little bit of bacon flavor, but with whatever sauce is on top, I get most of the flavor of the salsa verde. I don't really get a whole lot of pork flavor. Hmm. So, I don't know. We'll see how it all works together. But I ate a meat here. All right. Pork rind. Pork rind and pimento cheese. This is also the first time I've ever eaten a pork rind. A lot of firsts at the Swanky Swassy Swing. Swanky Swassy Swing? All right. I don't have a whole lot of pimento cheese dip, but. Oh, that's crunchy. Mm. Oh my. I'm very crunchy. You gotta go in teeth a blazing. I don't. I don't like this. Oh no. You don't like this at all, huh? I don't know if pork rinds are supposed to be like this. But these are really hard. How's, like, like really, really hard. How's the pimento cheese? There's a little bit of spice to the pork rind. The pimento cheese is fine. I just didn't get a whole lot because I was so focused on the crunchy going on with the pork rind. Right. So, I'm not sure. I like this. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know how to rate it because I'm, I'm just not sure. All right. We're switching over to some ribs here. Ribs is more my style. These look like hot peppers, so I'm not going to have them. You got to you gotta eat them the way the chef wants you to eat them. That's a lot of meat on the bone right there. I like these way better than the pork rinds. Um, I like the sweet, like, soy glaze to it. The meat is pretty tender. I, it's not the most tender meat I've ever had, but it's pretty tender. Um, yeah, I really like these. They're, they're good. Okay, so we got a, an odd, a good, and then we're moving on to borchetta here in a second once we get it cut up. All right, we're back with some borsch, borchetta, 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 bruschetta. Something of the sort. That's very, very nice. I like This is just kind of like a pork tenderloin. Right. With a little bit of like, um, ah, this is kind of like a chimichurri, very herb, like green sauce over top, which has very good flavor. And then it's served with these little roasted potatoes. Well, smashed out the back there when you bit into it. Mm. They're good. They're well cooked. So Are you? Far, I think. Ribs. Porchetta. Porchetta first. Oh. Then ribs. Mm hmm. Pork rinds are. Pork rinds are. are going to have to do something. Way low. The, the pig ear salad is going to have to do something real weird to. Yeah. I mean, I had a little bit of pig ear, but. But we're going to try it all together here. And all the flavors came together at once to create a masterpiece of culinary arts. It's not bad, but all I taste is salsa verde, which is on the bottom. The pig ear just kind of adds some texture to it, but it doesn't add a whole lot of flavor to it. Okay. It's not a bad flavor, like the, all of it together. It's just, it really just tastes like salsa verde. Slightly. Interesting. And that tomatillo. Um, it's better than the pork rinds. Okay. But, it, but it's not better than the porchetta or the ribs. Okay. So. So you have porchetta, ribs, pig ear salad, and then the pork rinds in an unfortunate fourth place. Correct. That is. Only get right. it for the fromage montage. Correct. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Let's see if I agree with you. All right. I was trying to see. Oh, there's a ton of salsa verde down here. I see it underneath at the bottom. That's I'm trying to figure your salad first. Yeah. Salsa verde with yeah. crunchy bits. Salsa verde with crunchy bits. That's all I got. 
I didn't got, get I didn't get any flavor from the piggy or itself. It's got corn in it and peppers. That time I got no piggy. Mm -hmm. So no crunchy bit. No. And his face, I don't know if y'all can see it right now, is like, eh. Eh. It's not the worst thing. No. But it's not like the best thing. I'm not going back for that one. I'll try my rib over here. All right. I, uh, I know she took the more meaty one. I didn't mean to. They are pretty decent sized ribs. No. At least they have some meat on them. Yeah. What do you think of the soy glazed ribs? It's good. Yeah. Um, better than the portion of the meat that we got from Australia. Okay. That's for sure. For meat on the bone. Yeah. Um, I have a real fatty, chewy piece right now. Okay. Um, the glaze is okay. It's nothing super fancy. No. But it tastes pretty good. I really want there to be a dish from this booth that I come back for. And maybe, maybe it's the pork rides with pimento cheese. Why are you shaking your head behind the camera? The problem is, it's not. It's what? It's not. It's gonna be. How do you know? I just don't think it is. Maybe I'll love it. I don't think the pork rinds are supposed to be as crunchy as they are. They are hard to bite. I think you have to counter it with a ton of pimento cheese. Okay. Maybe that's what I didn't do. Mine wasn't that crunchy. Oh. Like it's crunchy. Mine was, like, I could barely bite it. It was so hard. No, mine went right through. So I'm going to dip one more here and see maybe if I just got the lucky pork rind or not. Oh. No? Huh. I think it was just your chip. Maybe you need to retry it. Maybe. All right. Well. Give it a second chance. Okay. Check out the porchetta. That was my favorite. Here's your favorite dish. Right here. The porchetta. I'm going to cut myself off a piece. It's got like a chimichurri on it, like she said. That I'm looking forward to. We know me, I love a good chimichurri. It's a good roasted pork dish. Yeah. The problem is, would you say there's anything super special about Swanky Saucy Swan? There's nothing really, well, it's the one way I've ever tried pig ear. It's also the one way I've ever tried pork rinds. So that's new for me, but is there something special that I want to come back for? No, probably not. The funny thing is we rate things and we do this and then we eat and the first time we do it, we wait the lines. The second time around, what's the distance of line you would wait for any of these dishes? not more than five minutes and we walked up this time yeah on a saturday night first weekend of food and wine yeah and there was really no line for this particular booth so. right but you're not rushing back even with no way no not really like maybe when we come back and revisit some of these just maybe we try the borsetta again and yeah the borsetta the borsetta or maybe the ribs maybe the ribs in a few months but it would have to be a walk up i don't think there's anything on here that's going to make best of the festival so I'm gonna go see average. Yeah. Okay, I would agree with you. Yeah. Let's see. I think so. Two pocket napkins. 